Hi and welcome to Dell Farm and it's a bit of a longer video today because we're covering the whole process of animals life taking them to the abattoir and then bringing back the meat and at the end I share my thoughts on it I talk a bit about how I come to terms with the process so I hope that you'll enjoy that and there's also some amazing scenes landscapes sunrises and the full moon so I hope that you'll watch the full video and give me your thoughts uh, stay tuned good morning it's Monday. It's the 22nd of February and today is the day where we are waiting on a government announcement to find out when things might start to come out of lockdown in the UK. So naturally, I'm kind of nervous about it. Um, I, I've got my own ideas about what I think is going to happen, um, but it is a big deal because we were hoping at the very latest to open in April. Um, and my gut feeling is that's not going to happen. So then we're back into the process of, of as we were last year, which is rescheduling and reshuffling everybody around. So uh, it would just be nice to know where we stand, I think. I think everybody um, feels better when they know where they stand. That's why I think when the, the last lockdown came, after the lockdown was announced, I kind of felt better than before when there was all the uncertainty about the lockdown. So, so we'll see what happens on that one. But the good news is that we're having a busy Monday today because today is the day that we're taking a Highland bullock and two lambs to Glossop, to Metrics Butcher's Abattoir. Um, so once we've done our morning things, um, we will be bringing the lambs down, finding two, I think we've, we have already marked two that we think are the, the best in terms of size. Um, so they'll be just under a year old and um, they'd have been born last April. Um, and so they're still classed as, as lamb. Uh, we have got about 12 lambs to go out. Um, so most of them will become hoggets. Um, and then the Highland Bullock uh, will be three or four. I'll have to ask dad about that one. Um, but we've been really lucky. We've had lots of uh, lots of people supporting us um, since the last lockdown, buying the meat, and um, we've ran the stocks down really low. So it's great. We're going to have new stock again. So that's going to keep us busy today. Always a bit nerve wracking or getting the Highland cow in the trailer. So hopefully it'll go well, and then it'll take us about forty five minutes to an hour to get there, unload, and then come back. So by the time that's done, most of the day. Um, most of the day will have probably been taken up. Um, so that's how the week is starting off. <laughs> so the first task is to bring the lambs down. So I'm going to call them down now. I've got my bag. Come on! Come on! That's not everyone. Come on! Here they come. Go on! All right. All right. And no one's lame. What a great gang. So there was a bit of mucking around. I think maybe the, the walking through the fresh grass got their interest. Come on! And as you can see, some of them have got an S on the back and they're the ones that we had a feel of before and thought maybe they would be the ones that were most ready. That's a big one. Yeah, it's a good size, that one, isn't it? We've been honoured with the uh, appearance of Farmer Nick making his first, second farming appearance of 2021. Um, as Nick is actually the cow moving specialist. Go on, do your stick clacking. And he's the fastest runner out of us by a long shot. So here we are getting ready to bring down the beasts. And I imagine I won't be able to film very much because there's only three of us and uh, we'll have our work cut out.
we go. Yeah, that'd be easier. Hey. Uh oh. Come on. Well, she's got a bramble in her tail now. Come on. No. So we got the cows down and we managed to persuade them all to go into the shed and then we've left it now so that there's the one that we want in the race and then the one that we don't want is just keeping it company for now which is just to keep them settled really isn't it dad? Um, and then we'll have to get the trailer in position, get loaded up. Then don't forget about the lambs. <laughs> yeah, see, that's happening. <laughs> so the focus is to keep all the animals calm. We've even got Felix supervising. Hi, peeps. Where is the hay? Yeah. So just getting the trailer ready now and then it should hopefully just be a case of loading up and let the other cows out and then off we go. So we are loaded up and now we just need to get on the road. So we are back and the sun has come out and everything looks lovely and it went well didn't it? Very well Joe. yeah. So we're feeling... Relieved. <laughs> yeah, relieved. I've had dinner. So it looks like we might be able to open in some capacity from the 12th of April and then hopefully more normally from the 17th of May. So we can work with that, can't we Nick? We can. We'll, uh, we'll take that for now. It's better than nothing. It's better than last year. So and the phone is now ringing off the hook. So yeah, now we're busy with emails and we're just sort of uh, spending our email time outside looking at the sunset. It has been the most beautiful day, completely clear skies. As you can see, there's nice colours behind me. That is the full moon. Um, so we've been doing jobs outside today. It's been absolutely stunning. And tomorrow i um, going to go and pick up the meat and distribute that round um, quite a few sales. So that's really encouraging. Um, when people are up for whatever it is that you produce. So a lovely day, feels like spring. We do call it fool's spring. So that's when it's like a false sense of spring. It could snow still again, uh, it could go really cold. So um, I'm gonna enjoy it though, fool or not, I'm enjoying it. Good morning. It's Friday the 26th of February and behind me, you just see, the full moon is going down. The moon is going down. There's the sheep up there. And then taking you round. Over the other side, those beautiful colours, the sun is going to rise over there. 
somewhere over there. And uh, morning's my favourite time of day, so uh, Dad doesn't get up until a little bit later at the moment um, than me, so I'm just enjoying this is my time. Uh, and I love it. course when it gets to lambing we'll be up here for sunrise every day and it's fantastic So this is as far as I'm going to walk today. So I've got back time to get back down, have my cup of tea and be ready to start the jobs. But can we just appreciate those colours in the sky and the frost on the grass and the very nearly full moon. I believe tonight is the full moon. But she's looking pretty full and beautiful, isn't she? So there we go, the sun is up, the sky is beautifully clear, and we're ready to start the day. So this is a sped up version, obviously, and I'm not the driver. Um, just showing you a few of the gorgeous scenes as we make the journey back to Dale Farm after going to collect the meat. And this is nearly back to the farm. Yeah. Look at the sky, so pretty. So here we have, it's all boxed up and organized. <clears throat> So on Monday it was lamb in the field and now it, on Friday it's diced and nice joints and shoulder and bits all sealed and ready for me to categorise and sell. We decided to do it outdoors as we've got more space and it was nice and cool and very clear and calm. So a little bit that I wanted to say about the farm shop and the meat that we produced. I probably have touched on it in other videos, but it always feels like a relevant and recurring topic of conversation. And that is with regard to... Um, rearing animals for meat and um, and the process of it because I do get comments from people saying that it's disgusting and it's awful and they don't know how I can do it um, and I just think that there is an impact to everything that we consume and I do perceive that our sort of small scale farm and and our farming methods and the animals that we rear and the way that we do it and the food, the way that we eat our own food, I feel is fairly low impact. Now, you can have um, perhaps the argument that I don't have a conscience. I think that I do. Um, I think that there's uh, a lot to be said for the, the kind of diets where you require all of your food to be shipped around the world, uh, where everything that you buy comes in a packet. Um, and uh, you know food that's been through factories processing plants um i i just think that everything has an impact and i take pride in giving our little lambs and our cows and pigs the best life that i possibly can to know that they experience joy to know that they experience 
good time, sunshine, uh, fresh air, freedom, um, and a decent length of life before they eventually go for their, their end. And <clears throat> as I said before, I trust the people that do the ki killing um, and that they treat animals with respect. I've never seen anything to make me think otherwise. And so I feel that if we want to survive on this planet, we have to face the fact that um, that we must consume. So that's my thoughts on that one. And I will finish the video there. Um, so thank you for watching all the way to the end. It's been a long one today. And please um, give the video a like if you've enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more from Dale Farm. And thanks for watching. Bye.